Next question. What is the decorator design pattern? So the decorator design pattern is also a structural design pattern. And it offers a way of adding behavior to a component without changing that component. So you are extending a specific object, not the type of that object. This is very exactly. important. You are decorating an instance, not the class. Exactly. Right. Because then you would extend the whole class, the whole type. No, here we're talking about one instance. Exactly. Because if you change your class implementation, every instance is going to get this new behavior. But if you decorate, you decorate a specific instance and you change the behavior or you add behavior to that instance only without altering the whole class. It's a very powerful concept because imagine if you didn't do that and you wanted to add some logic in the whole type, all the if statements and the extra state that you might have there or subclassing for, you know, when you shouldn't be supposed to subclass in the first place. Mm -hmm. So the creator pattern just gives you uh, tremendous flexibility and freedom for basically just that one instance. And this is possible because the decorator shared the same interface with the object it decorates or the mm -hmm. decoratee. Right. For example, the decorator pattern is very handy for cross-cutting concerns like logging, debugging, profiling, analytics, tracking, security, authentication, threading. For example, when you're trying to profile how long an operation takes or you want to track some user actions, like every time you press a button, you want to track that action, all those cross-cutting concerns can be moved to decorators. Does you separate the cross-cutting concern from your application logic? That's it. And that should be your signal, by the way. If you see a class violating the single responsibility principle, then perhaps you can use the decorator uh, pattern and extract any added uh, logic or usage of singletons, as you said, tracking, logging, all these things are usually done with singletons. But why would you pollute your component with these things when you can clearly isolate them in just one instance of this type that you're working with? And that's the, the again, that's the power of the decorator pattern. It allows you to reinforce the single responsibility principle, maintain open, closed nature in your components. That's it. Now, the example, it's very common to see in code bases defensively dispatching to the main queue before performing some UI update. Yes. Because you can only perform UI updates in the main thread. Yes. And since you don't know if your service will be returning things in the main thread, just defensively always dispatch asynchronous calls in the main thread. Yes. The problem is that this is going to make your whole UI code ugly, wrapped in those dispatch queues. It can introduce bugs that is very hard to trace. It can hold your view in memory for longer than it should. It might be dispatching on the main queue, even though it's already in the main queue. So it's doing work. It doesn't need to mm -hmm. make the user experience worse. So instead, you can move all the dispatch to a centralized place in the composition route. Yes. By using the curators. Exactly. And this is, uh, uh, th this is a prime example of what it means to make a change to a single instance rather than a whole class of objects, the whole type, right? Because imagine you, you have a table view controller and you're fetching something and you want to update in the, you want to dispatch in the main queue. Now that's, that's dispatching logic based on, uh, on your on the server, right? So why would you have that in a UI that supposedly is reusable and mm -hmm. perhaps it doesn't need that? So what you can do is whenever you need that, you can wrap it in a decorator and just use it for the case at hand. That's it. So you move the dispatch to a component that knows it needs to dispatch. That's it. And that's not in the network client. No. <laughs> Ideally, move it to a decorator in the composition root. Thus, all your components are much more testable as well. Thus, you don't need to be concerned about threading when you're testing your UI. 
You're concerned about threading when you're testing threading code in the composition route. 